In this video, I'm going to show you how to prune your squash plants. Hi, this is Jeremy Starr with Green Thumb Gardener, here to give you some tips, tutorials, and reviews on all your gardening needs. Just wanted to let you guys know if you really enjoy the show, please make sure you subscribe down the bottom. Also give it a thumbs up, smash that button if you do like it. So now that we've got that out of the way, today I wanted to go over some, some things with some squash. Basically, uh, you know, we all love the squash. It is, it's one of those vegetables that, that were near and dear that it always seems to be in the garden. It's, it's right up there with tomatoes and peppers. But one of the things that always, uh, that always um, can uh, you know, affect the squash plant is that as the, as the summer goes along and it does get hot and it's humid out, it does tend to get um, what's called a, like a powdery mildew on the actual leaves. And that can actually affect the, the, the growing of it and it can cause other problems with it and, and does stunt, stunt its growth a little bit. Um, so one of the good, one of the ways that you can actually keep that under control is by is by pruning the actual leaves. Uh, some think, oh, you know, I don't know if that's is that really necessary. I, I think it is because you do need to actually um, do prune the leaves to make sure that um, that it does grow without having to worry about. It. Now I, I'm sure you can see right now. I, I probably should have washed this off before, before I filmed this, but I wanted to. I was doing this anyways and I thought well why don't I just come out here and film it and show you guys. But basically I, I have um, this white powder that's called uh, Diatomaceous Earth or DE. Uh, it's an organic way to, um, to keep rid of the ants. We've been having a lot of ants um, in the garden this year. So um, you know I do spread it on there. Um, it's, it's an organic way you can actually spray it off but I'll, I'll show that in another video that maybe I'll link up in the show notes. For today I just wanted to show you really quick on some easy ways to actually prune the prune the squash leaves what you want to do is you want to actually get the the very bottom leaves is what I what I always say and this what this um, this actual plant is in a pot so it, um, it, it to me it's on, it doesn't get as much rain and water on it because it's in a pot and the way that it splashes up but I still like to get the bottom half of this one but if this is actually in the ground what you want to do is you want to make sure that you have some good airflow in through the into the actual plant itself. So I try to get the bottom section of the of the plant. And what you do is basically you just come over and you would just go right all the way down to the stem itself. And I take a just take a you know a knife or some scissors if you have some scissors, uh, but I just have a knife and pretty simple. I just cut the very bottom of it off, you know, just like that. And then um, you know you can put the, put those in the compost pile when you're done with them. But I, I, I just say you just trim the very bottom ones, just to at least get those off there. And it does help with with the airflow as long as you have you know enough growth on here that you're not going to have to worry about you know what it's going to get the sun. What this also does as well too is that. Uh, the pollinators, the bees, and, and everything that that would pollinate the uh, the flowers when they actually come out, they, they'll actually be able to see the flowers. Sometimes, if there's so many leaves on here and it's it's uh, it's basically covering them, so this this ensures that that they're able to see it and they're able to pollinate the actual uh, squash itself. So this kind of gives it a little bit of breathing room and it allows good airflow in through the bottom of the plant. Because especially with pottery mildew, when, you, when it does get a little bit more humid out, unfortunately we haven't had any, any right now, but when it does get a little bit hotter and more humid out, it does start at the bottom of the leaves. So it will actually get some of it in there. So on this plant, I'm also gonna get just the very bottom leaves and I'll, I'll basically just drop them right off at the bottom here. You can see and I just get in here and I'm just gonna get it right down to the stem is really really where you want to get it one other thing too is you can also if it is kind of in in the way of other plants if you can see that there's a little pepper plant here as well as it gets a little bit larger I might I might also maybe get one of the leaves by the um, by the actual pepper plant so that has a little bit but you know one of the things too with the squash is you can actually <laughs> kind of move it around a little bit too it does allow you to to actually um, Kind of move it just very gently so you can kind of rock it so that it, you can move it here some people also actually um, they stake their their squash plants and they and they grow them kind of up but i just let it just kind of come out i'm pretty simple simple gardener i don't really 
like to do uh, too much with that but I just kind of let it grow out and see what happens from there you know I might I might uh, this for right now this 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 looks pretty good I'm not I'm, I don't feel like I want to do any more at this point and that's fine too you can do you know as long as you're you know this got plenty of growth on here to leave you know plenty of leaves on here so you don't have to worry about you know doing any harm with it um, and then I you know as long as the leaves are fine these I'll probably just throw right them in the compost pile you know so we have some nice greens for it but if they do or if they are infected with the pottery mildew you don't want to put those in the actual compost pile if you're always unsure too it's best just not to uh, to put them in there because you know infect the other the base of the other uh, compost in there and if, there's really much not much to it when you're pruning your squash if you like this video, I plan to have more videos just like this uh, with tip, more tips and tutorials to help you in the garden for any gardener, beginning gardeners, or even if you've been gardening for quite some time, uh, we can always learn from each other. Uh, but I'll, if you do like this, please uh, subscribe below. Also, in the comments, please in the sections, comments, tell me what you do in your garden uh, to, to prune and give me some tips as well and, and some other ideas of uh, what you might like as well. So just write something in the comment. Let me know what you do for your, for your squash plants. And as always, thank you, and we'll see you in the next video.